You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding the New Year holiday. Under the circular, the Kingdom's ministries, state departments and public institutions will be closed on Wednesday, January the 1st of 2020. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the meeting of the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of continuing to prioritize oil and gas exploration projects which contribute to the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the efforts made by the Ministry of Oil and all relevant authorities to implement exploration projects as well as other wide-ranging strategic initiatives. He noted that these efforts aim to secure long-term access access to resources, stimulate the Kingdom's investment environment and competitiveness, support the Kingdom's sustainable development goals and fulfill the aspirations of Bahraini citizens. Additionally, the committee reviewed the latest developments regarding the Bahrain LNG import terminal and the Bahrain Basin. The Shura Council held its meeting today, presided over by its chairman, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, in which it approved a draft law ratifying the amendment to paragraph 1 of the 8th article of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Charter. The council also approved a draft law amending a number of provisions of the municipality's law. Launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa during the government forum, FIKRA offers public sector employees the opportunity to put forward their suggestions on innovation and development of government services via a digital platform. The Ministry Committee selected the following two ideas, Virtual Employment Center by Iman Samak and Abtihal Shihabi from the Labor Market Regulatory Authority and Mahakim Platform submitted by Ahmed Al Arafi from the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister. Members of the public selected ePark BH, replacement of parking meters with an application by Aliya Al Gahtani from the Ministry of Interior and Nofal Gahtani from the Ministry of Youth and Sports. The Ministry Committee was deeply encouraged by the extraordinary range of talents represented in the application pool, noting that applicants' aptitude for innovation will help achieve greater operational efficiency in the public sector. Winners will be given an opportunity to present their innovations to the Government Executive Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, to ensure successful project implementation. FIKRA accelerates development through a citizen centered approach that is participatory and sustainable. In addition, in addition to fostering a culture of innovation in which government employees put forward breakthrough solutions in line with Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and the government program 2019-2022. The Ministry Committee consisted of the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim Mtawa, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Ahmedan, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Engineer Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, the Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar, the Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq al Mu'ayyad, and the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Wa'il bin Nasser al-Mbarak.